Okay, I've got the um, decals all cut out ready. Um, we're ready to put them on, so let's uh, get the first decal. I'll do the uh, writing first slogan. So we just literally put that in the water on a pair of tweezers, and I'll just leave that now to, to dry. Do the same on the other side. Okay. So. You can use various um, liquids on here to help put the decals on. So, ones I'm going to be using are uh, Micro Set and uh, Micro Sole. So, this goes on first, the set. You just literally brush it on. Let's just get the brush I can use. Go, clean brush. And you literally just paint this to where you want the decal to go. I'll take the turret off, I think. And move them off the other side. Right, so I'm just getting a bit more on the brush. So you just literally paint that on. That just enables the decal to soak in, um, settle onto the model, and um, you get rid of any silvering. And it also looks a bit more like it has been painted on rather than just uh, a track decal. So it's just. Get this decal going. Is it gonna move? It's been stuck. There we go. It's been stubborn at one little point. So we're gonna put that there. That's on. We <sighs> just That's it, that's on, and uh, get yourself a uh, cotton bud or a bit of tissue and just smooth that down. Get the cotton bud. <sighs> well, I was organised, but obviously I forgot a couple of bits. And then just literally just smooth that down onto the model, like so. Okay, and now I will do the other side. Sorry about that. Camera fell over. Right, let's just do this here. Put the other deck all that done. And we'll apply that to there. Make sure the position is the same as the other side. Let's go across a little bit there, I think. If you have trouble moving the decal, just put a bit more, just dab a bit of water onto it, and it should be fine. It's not, shouldn't really use my fingers, but uh, needs must. Yeah, that looks good. And just. Oops, see it just moved, but oh, it's not moved too much. Okay, and then what you do, you use the you use the sole, and what that does is it softens the decal and enables it to sit down onto the model. So if there was any ridges or anything, it would then conform to all the ridges so it's just if it bubbles your decal don't panic it's not gone wrong um, it will settle itself back down again just don't touch it once you put that on okay so that's, that's done right so we've got numbering to go on this one uh, the other T34 was 121 um, so I'm going to make this 122 um, a slight difference in the actual decal that I'm using, but again, that's not a problem because each tank was individually done. I'll just leave that to water, just dab that in the water, and just leave that for a couple of minutes, let it soften up.
Right. Okay, so the twos have now done. So let's just. There's one. And there's the second one. Alright, so position these on their turret where you want them. So that's gone a little bit. I forgot to put the uh, set on, but that shouldn't be a problem. Ah. Oh, she's become a bit of a disaster. But at least I can show you how to get around these things. Should have let that set longer before I. Uh... There we go. Come on. There we go. Right, let's try and get these twos to go now. Try one there. And this this one's got to come over. Go there. And then that slight angle like so. That's good. And we've got to put one on. Which right, let's just get the one. Use a brush to get it, try and get it to move. There we go. Control with individual numbers, get them to, to actually. Uh, line up how you want them to can be tricky as this has become I'm not sure on that one it seems to be the wrong way around but uh, that's how it is on the decal sheet I'm not being an expert on Soviets uh, numbering I'm not quite sure if that's right or wrong I just uh, had a look at the uh, decal sheet and yes they are like that and what that little line is supposed to represent is the uh, paint running uh, when they've applied the um, numbers because the other one that I've got with the same decal sheet looks completely different so that's what I reckon it represents looking at the other numbers on the sheet so let's apply the other side And as you'll see, this two here has also got these. Um, you can focus in a bit better. Sorry, um, this two here is also a bit. Uh, Got these like little lines to represent the paint. A bit too much, that's it. Need to move these. Yeah, let me move these across a bit. That's it.
and lastly the one which is upside down Right. Right, so That looks correct to me. There should be across a little bit more, but there you go. All numbered up. Okay, and now we're going to put a red star on. Uh, as I say, early period didn't really have red stars, but I'm doing this with a bit of artistic licenses. I think it uh, just breaks the model up a little bit. Gives it a little bit of colour. Um, I'm going to put the um, sold on after. Because you can put that on at any time. And then I can just leave the turret just to, to dry. It's been a little bit of a disaster putting these decals on. I don't normally have this many problems. Um, you I'm, I'm rushing a little bit to get it done. Um, in fact, I'm not 100% happy with this. So I'm going to just try and... There's not enough space in between the, the decals. So I'm just going to try and move them a bit. It might be too late, but always worth trying. Let's have a look. Yeah, I don't think they're going to move. No, they're on there now, so it's just going to have to be like that. <clears throat> okay, so let's put um, let's put the stars on. It won't, probably won't stand out as much once we get all the uh, weathering onto it, and it's not a major issue. Put a nice big star on this one, just. Uh, so make it stand out, leave enough room to put the kill marks when I put my kill marks on, which I'm going to be doing to all my tanks. So the Russians, um, they use like little white uh, squares and dots to represent uh, kills on some of their vehicles. I've decided that uh, I will be doing that. So kills that these vehicles get in gains will be displayed on them. My mate's also doing it with his Germans, um, he's, he's got to paint them on the barrel, so it's a little bit more difficult. One's a little bit easier. Alright, so there you go, so that's the decals put on, so I'll now leave them to uh, dry. And um, be back with the next stage, which is going to be the... Um, Start of the weathering. I'll be back shortly. Okay, so time to do some weathering. I've actually managed to um, move the decals. I persevered after off camera and managed to get them to move a little bit so they're a bit more evened out now. So I'm going to take the turret off at the moment because that's going to give a little bit extra work to it. And we're going to do the, the main body. Now, the stuff I use for weathering are going to be these three products here by a company called Flory Models. Uh, he's a scale model builder. He does his own range of washes. They're all clay based and they're very, very good. You can just literally slap them on and play around with them because they're water based. If it's too much, put a bit of water on your brush. You can move it around. Um, it will stay like that. You, you, can, you can do that for couple of days afterwards it'll still be there to be able to move around 
um, and then to seal it you just put a varnish over the top so it's it's really good product uh, as you'll see and it's what I, I like to use so the first color we're going to start with though is the dark dirt and this will be applied to the whole model so let's just get a suitable brush and give it a bit of a shake as I say it's clay based you want to get that clay to move off the bottom of the of the pot Okay, it's a really sort of dirty look, um, but uh, just literally slap it over the whole model. Uh, don't worry about how much you put on or anything like that. It's a tank, it gets dirty. Say if you don't like it, and you've got too much, you can literally run this under a tap and it'll all come off. You know, you'd be surprised how good this is. If you're interested in uh, this stuff, he's got a website, you can go along, he's got loads of videos, um, he's also got some on YouTube as well worth looking at um, it's where I learned to um, basically do all my airbrushing was through his site um, he's very very good at uh, explaining things you do have to join it if you want to see certain videos I was a member when I was doing my scale modeling before I came back to wargaming um, so but there is some good basic stuff that's available free to have a look at So you literally just put this on it and then let it dry. Put it over the whole model, over the tracks. Can be, you can airbrush it, but it can be messy. I like to put it on by brush because I've got more control over it. you must when you finish doing the model you must seal the model because literally handling the model the uh, wash will come off on your hands unless you seal it with a varnish that's how it's designed to be so yeah put a bit in there just turn up the inside of there Okay, let's just make sure she's gone over, put a bit there where I had my finger. As you can see, it comes off. I don't know if you can, if I can actually get my thumb around. You see my thumb there, it's, well, I've just had my finger on it. It's uh, dirty, so it comes off very easily. So you have to be careful with it. Right, okay. Right, that's that done, leave that to dry. Okay, I'm gonna do the same with the um, turret. But before I actually apply the wash, I am going to use some white on that lettering, just to give it a bit more um, of a street look, because obviously the, the lettering and the words were all painted on by the troops in the field. And uh, various water-based uh, paint, uh, basically whatever they could use so obviously the rain would would um, sometimes streak the models oh that's, good, that's fine I've literally just put my finger on that decal but it's not a problem because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make that a damaged decal I've got the... I would normally leave my decals a little bit longer to dry but because I'm trying to do this as a as a tutorial, it's, uh, it's not giving it the normal time I would to allow things to set. So this one's putting, just putting white on just to represent the right so and then that decal there, its number's been damaged so. You 
just push it like that and make it look a bit more. Okay, so that's that turret done. So now, I'll let that dry and then I will apply the wash to that turret the same as I've done on the body. Be back in a bit. <coughs> 